Hey Sonia, this is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with Eric. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So I'll be going over some few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. So let's start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. So you have your logo here. You have great photos, a nice layout, your services, client testimonials, which is perfect. So there's actually just some few things we're going to get over for us to get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you really would like to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you have 1,233 words, not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1,500 so that Google will actually consider us as a more trustworthy website. So one of our main focus now would be adding more words to your homepage for us to be able to get you higher in the search list. Another thing I would like to talk about are keywords. Google is actually looking for keywords, so it's looking for what the site should be found for. If you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I actually did a quick search of the roofers in your area. We'll talk more about the results that we have here, starting off with the sponsored, so these are actually the paid ones wherein people are paying ads for their website to show up here. So we're not going to be talking much about the paid ones, but rather we'll move on to the next part. So this is what we call the map pack. And this is actually something wherein you really would like to be on since these are the ones that, you know, generates a lot of traffic and a lot of attention. And they're also easier to find. And one way for you to be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile wherein you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that will also help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are now what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of your top competitors' website, and let's see what they're doing differently. So looking at their website, they have their logo here. They have pretty good photos, client testimonials, nice layout. So let's just dig deeper with the numbers instead. So this is Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we actually use for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll be talking more about the numbers, so let's start off with DR. So this is actually the level of trust that Google has in your website, and UR would be the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, this or other website that refers to your website. So, so they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. I also have your competitor's website here, so we'll be comparing the numbers and we'll see what they have differently. So looking at DR and UR, it shows that they actually have a stronger website and a more trustworthy website. And the reason for that is because they have more backlinks and more keywords, which actually resulted to more traffic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about backlinks and keywords and what are the importance of this too? Starting off with backlinks or what we call the referring domains. So these are actually all the directories they're listed in that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're currently ranking so high in the searches. Also, this would be the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for the specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are all the hits or clicks that they're getting per month with the help of these keywords. Um, so that's actually how important in choosing the right keyword is to have on your website. That way, more customers will be able to find your website easier and quicker. 
also another thing I would like to share about hidden keywords um, or keywords would be hidden keywords. So let's use this photo as an example. If we save this photo and instead of, you know, naming it with a generic file name, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword. And you can do the same thing with the other photos you have here. That way, you'll have more keywords and not only that, for those words to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can definitely do to improve your ranking would first be the amount of content, which is um, where we're going to add more words to your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a more trustworthy website. Next would be the backlinks, where we're going to add you to more directories as possible. That way, we can bring you more traffic and, of course, the higher chances of you in appearing in the map pack as well. Last but not the least would be the keywords wherein we're going to help you out in choosing the right keywords to appear on your website. That way, more customers will be able to find your website easier and quicker. So that's actually all that I have for now. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to call or email Eric so he can tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your time. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.